Good morning, my friends. I figured today, let's just get a little bit of training in together and do this in a way where we get a wake up nice and early and get some movement in with our body, utilizing our Kali training. So all we're gonna need for today's session is a pair of Kali sticks. If you need a pair of some nice sticks, head over to our store at KaliCenter.com. You can grab a pair right there. Let's get right into the session. All right, starting off with a little bit of a warm up. We're gonna just get our wrist rotations in going, just like this. So we're just gonna grab our stick about one fist length up, and we're gonna just rotate our wrist going forward like this. Now you can have your elbows nice and bent, keep the hands up by your shoulders, and just get this wrist rotation going. Nice and basic. We're gonna work some fundamentals today for this morning session. That's how I like to get my day started. Just some nice, simple movements, get some technique work going. It gets the joints loosened up, gets the blood flowing through the body. It's a great utilization of our Kali practice. Now we're gonna go one rotation forward and one rotation back. And it's gonna help to warm up those shoulder joints, the back muscles, our chest muscles and so you as you can see here I'm gonna stop that tip point it up right in front of my eyes one rotation back and I'm gonna get that full stretch in the shoulders and in the chest and really open the chest and get those all the way back the sticks back to that full chamber position Alrighty, let's get some arm circles going, just some big arm circles. If you're working out inside and you don't want to hit your ceiling or your fan, go ahead and just bring the sticks in or drop the sticks for now. That's fine, and just do the arm circles. Totally good. If you're outside, out in the yard or at a park or whatever, then do them this way. This way is nice because we're using the momentum of the sticks to help bring our arms around. Let's go the other way. Just a few, just to get things moving. All righty. Now, just to get the legs warmed up, let's kind of run in place here. Bring your knees up to your sticks. Just keep your sticks around your waist height and let your knees touch your sticks. Don't, try not to bring your sticks down to touch your knees. Bring your sticks up to touch your sticks. All righty. And we're just gonna do a couple squats here. We're just gonna go as low as you can, up and down. Just get those knees warmed up. If you want more movement and mobility routines to help enhance your martial arts training, your Kali training, any martial arts that you're doing, check out my other YouTube channel at Martial Flex. I've got a whole bunch of great follow along routines at that channel for mobility and stretching, movement, help your body to feel good and perform better in your martial arts. I'll leave a link right up here and also I'll pin it in the comments below. Let's go and get some footwork in. And we're gonna start off just by having this reverse triangle. We're just doing a little bit of reverse triangle footwork. I like working from the bottom up when I'm training my collie. My right, footwork is that foundation. So we're gonna step left 45, bring it back, right 45. And just start nice and slow here. and gradually speed it up. We'll do this for about a minute or so. Just a nice quick little movement routine to get that body moving while we're working some of these Kali skills.
feels good. Make sure we're breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Keep your knees bent, back as straight as possible. Good for a little bit of agility work here. All right. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of a workout in there. All right, just a nice short round here. We're going to step out, we're gonna turn, and then we're gonna do a little squat. We're gonna duck down. Step back, right 45, turn, and then a little duck down, and then come back. Just go at your pace here, what feels good. And if you wanna challenge it and speed it up, and try to get deeper on the squat, work to what feels good for your body today. Let's go ahead and get it going. Step, turn, duck. Step, turn, squat. Just getting a nice workout in the legs. Working our collie footwork. Feels good. All right, let's go and pick up our sticks. We're actually gonna start off with a single stick, so we only need one stick right now. And from here, we're just gonna get some nice basic striking in. We're gonna come out to that full chamber position. We're gonna strike down our angle one and strike down our angle two. So we're making this big X in front of the body right here. Okay, angle one on the forehand, angle two on the backhand. And just make them nice and smooth. Don't worry about speed right now. We'll get to that point. But work on smooth cutting motions. So you can pretend that your stick is a sword and you want to have a nice smooth slice. If you have a training bolo, a training sword, feel free to use that for these workouts as well. After all, Kali traditionally is a blade fighting art. It is a sword art. So the stick is a training tool for the sword. But of course, the skills can transfer over and the Kali practitioner can be just as dangerous with a stick as they can be with a sword. So gradually speed it up as you're feeling good, as that coordination is being dialed in. I'm going to change the view for you so you can see the mechanics from another side. You can see I'm getting that hip and shoulder rotation, get that spinal rotation in. Good for the shoulder joint, good for the spine. Kali is a pathway to good physical health. Now we're going to work a little bit on our left hand as well, so watch my switch here. As I strike my angle one, I'm going to pass the stick. You see where it breaks over next to my hip? I'm going to pass the stick over to my left hand and I'm going to continue that motion. I'm going to switch my feet so my weapon wielding hand is out front. That way my body is protected behind the weapon and go right into my angle ones and twos, that big X. And just again, start nice and slow, slow and smooth and focus on a good slice, a nice slice. Again, we're getting that hip and shoulder rotation. So look how the torso is rotating. Okay, even the hips are rotating here as much as they can. And as you're getting more coordinated, then gradually let the speed naturally pick up. Don't force it. don't really know how many we're doing you know I just kind of go with what feels good and that's how I like to work my training sessions like this I don't really count I just go to 
what feels good in my body and what does my body need what does the technique need and I'd rather be in a mindful space with what I'm actually doing than focusing on a number you know how many reps am I doing focus on the quality of every movement not the quantity of your counting you know, let's take a look at that switch again and so from here as I strike that angle one as it breaks over I'm gonna let it pass to my right hand and then I'm gonna bring it up and this time we're gonna strike up the X so we call this our angle three and our angle four we're gonna strike up the X again nice and slow slow and smooth and focusing on a nice slice <laughs> all right and this one's going to feel quite a bit different. You're going to notice that the mechanics of the body are a little bit different. You can really get the hips into this upward figure eight. And that's the goal here. It kind of feels like we're shoveling or scooping with the hips and with the arm, with the torso. You're going to see how the shoulder goes. And that's what we want. We want to really emphasize that scooping here. Now you're gonna also notice how my feet are locked in here. I'm not swaying like this with the feet, okay? I'm keeping them locked in. I'm really isolating the, the hips and up on my body as much as I can. And this is gonna help build the knees and the ankles, not just that flexibility, but it's gonna, also gonna help to build that stabilization strength in the tendons of the knees and the joints there. And if we're just kind of moving around, then we lose out on the benefit of this. And that's not necessarily wrong. There's a time to do that training, but there's also a time to lock the feet in, isolate the movement of the upper body, and reap those benefits that we get from doing the drill this way. All right, now from right here, as I come down to the four, that's where I'm gonna pass the stick, switch my feet in transition, and start working the other side, the other hand. And again, nice and slow. Go back to slow and smooth. Try to keep those feet locked in. Keep the knees pointed directly over the toes as best as you can. And as you're moving, yeah, they're gonna sway a little bit. That's where you're gonna start working on that tendon strength and that stability strength in your joints. Because you're trying to keep the alignment as best as possible while working that upper body mechanic. Well, we need that body to work as a unit. We don't necessarily want them to work completely independently of each other all the time but as they work in a unit, they gotta work in a calibrated fashion. And it's not all about speed, we gotta get the body stronger and more agile, more coordinated, more flexible. And it's not all just about speed. Speed's important. Speed sometimes is fast, speed sometimes is slower. I right, want to control that speed, but we want to have the athleticism in the body so we can pull off our tactics and techniques and our sparring. All right, we'll switch it back over off that angle four. Let's go and grab our uh, double stick this time, our second stick. And the main emphasis here is really working on that torso rotation. You know, getting the hips and shoulders to rotate all the way through, getting that rotation in the spine, and getting that connectivity through the pelvis there from the upper body to the lower body. So we're gonna come into our Sinawali chamber right here, right? our chamber position. Right stick on the right shoulder, left stick down by the uh, left hip. We're gonna strike up our angle four and down our angle one, just like this on both sides, up the four, down the one, okay? And you're gonna see how we're working on that rotation in the torso. We're gonna do a little bit 
in the right lead and then we'll switch it. And again, make sure we're pulling our strikes through, utilizing the lat. We want to be initiating through the lats. We're not pushing you know, through the chest. We're pulling nice, smooth slices, initiating the strike from the lat. In the long term, that's going to give you more power in your strikes. I promise, I promise you. Okay. Little scoop, little twist, scoop on the four, a little more twist on the one. So we have that torso working a little bit more in a diagonal fashion now. Feels good on the body. All right, from here we're gonna switch it and go to the other side with our stance. Open up the other side. And if you're feeling it in your shoulders, if you need to take a break, take a few seconds, catch your breath, relax the shoulders. I know this could be pretty intense, especially you know if you're just kind of starting out. Got to build up to it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Progress. You know, you train a little bit every day, and every day you get closer and closer to more progress. No hurry, no rush in skill development. Just enjoying the process of it. All right, and then just kind of freelance this a little bit with your footwork, okay? Let's just take a little bit of time. You know, you can switch it out, whatever you want. Just staying on this striking pattern, okay? Explore, you can step out on the reverse triangle like we did. Just explore here while we're working these movements. Okay. Feels good sometimes to explore, to play. You know, spin around, see what this feels like. You know, maybe go the other way. Notice where your body's on balance, where it's off balance. Have your feet a little more narrow. Have your feet wider apart. See if you can do a 180. Explore the movements. A little cross step behind, a little pumping of the legs. All right, all right. Let's take a few moments here and close it out with a little bit of breathing. Let's take some nice deep breaths. Let's calm the body down. Get that heart rate back down. Fill the body with fresh oxygen. And get our mind refocused on the day to come. Three more breaths. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today in this little Kali movement session. I love doing uh, training sessions like this where you just get to do a little bit of technique work here and there, polish some stuff up, and do a little bit of exploration stuff at the end. If you like this type of video, these kind of follow along workouts, movement sessions, let me know down in the comments. And if you like it, then we can do more of these. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to Kali Center here, and hit that bell to turn on post notifications. 
notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos here at Collie Center. We have a lot, lot coming to you. Again, if you need a pair of sticks, check out our store at colliecenter.com. And while you're there, if you want to dive deeper into your Filipino martial arts training with us here at Collie Center, then check out our online school. We've just launched our new super training platform. It's really, really cool. We have our on-demand training videos that are exclusive to our online school. You won't get those here on YouTube or anywhere else. We also have our live stream classes and you can even access one-on-one -on -one coaching as well through our online training. So we can customize, tailor training specifically for your needs and what you're looking for to get out of your Kali training. So check it out over at KaliCenter.com and I'll catch you back here for our next training session together. All right, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day, my friend.